After about being under the snow for a minute or two, Danny dug me out. I got up, asked who we were missing. He said, Mike. I took off all my gear, got my shovel out, my, my probe, flipped my peeps over to search, and we went looking for Mike. We located Mike, we started digging, and that's when the second group of four guys showed up. Came right up to the to where we were digging. They all jumped off their sleds, started digging too. At approximately two o'clock, Kurt Cable pushed 911 on his spot transmitter. And Jeremy Rusnak was getting geared up to go out for help. At approximately 2.05, we heard crack. And that's when the second slide hit us, burying all 11 of us. I managed to float almost to the surface. Uh, when I opened my eyes, I could see daylight. I was digging. I managed to get my mouth free. I was already choking. Took a few breaths. After about five minutes of struggling, I got myself out. Looked around, realized there wasn't anybody else. Couldn't see any sleds, no gear, nothing. I yelled and I heard somebody yell back and that's when I went and found Jeremy. I had no gloves, no toque. I started digging Jeremy out. Took about 15 minutes to get him out. We got him out, or I got him out, and then Jeremy stood up, yelled again, and we heard one more person. That's when we found James. We were digging James out, and we heard crack again. And we said, sorry, James, we gotta run. And as we were running away from James, he was saying, don't leave me here, don't leave me here. And we kept saying, we're sorry. Went and sat off to the side, and the slide never hit us in the area we were in. We just got the snow cloud. Went back in, finally got James out, pulled James off to the side. I flipped my peeps back over, and the only signal I could get was Mike's steers, and I knew it was too deep with no equipment to help him. I took a quick look around. I couldn't see anybody. Couldn't see no hands, feet sticking up. Uh, we contemplating whether trying to get the one snowmobile that wasn't hit by the slide out. And that's when we made the decision that it was unsafe to go in there. And that's when we had to make the gut-wrenching decision to leave, to leave our eight friends and start walking off the mountain. <laughs>